Hey guys, Clint Coons here, and in this video, I wanted to share with you a hidden tax strategy for rental real estate you might be missing on the next deal you're putting together. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here's the deal. When it comes to rental real estate, a lot of people buy properties and they tend to rehab it. And it could be residential, it could be commercial, you know, it's a quad, duplex, it doesn't matter. But this is something you have to know about because if you don't and you miss out on it, you're going to be walking around kicking yourself when I told you, hey, you could have saved yourself an additional $30,000 in taxes had you done this one simple step. What is it? All right, let me just show you an example. So you're going to buy this piece of property right here. And you, you, you buy this property and you realize, hey, it's going to need some rehab work. Maybe I need to replace the roof and I need to uh, fix the so -and -so HVAC roof. We need to do a kitchen remodel uh in there and we got to do some uh beautifying so we got to do some landscape work uh as well on this particular piece of property so all in this entire rehab budget here uh we're gonna be putting in about eighty thousand uh, dollars into this rehab so what a lot of people will do is they'll go in they'll do all of this work to the property okay get it all set up and then they'll talk to their tax advisor and the tax advisor will say you know what you should really do from a tax standpoint is come in and do a cost segregation study. All right, so what is that? I've got some other videos on this, but just really quick, if you, if you haven't watched those yet, what it means is that you can break up uh, this property into different asset classes with an accelerated depreciation. So you don't have to put it on a straight line depreciation that you would in normal circumstances. We can speed all that uh, depreciation up because of the nature of the property itself. It's not going to last as long as the actual structure. So maybe your HVAC um, is only scheduled to last five years. Well, why depreciate that property over the entire length of the, of the house itself, the structure itself, if it's going to be replaced in five years? So you got five, seven, and 15 year property inside of the structure, which composes the majority of that structure. And so with a cost segregation study, what they're doing is they're finding all those components and then putting them on an accelerated depreciation, which means this. You get a lot more tax deductions up front. And if you're doing it right now, you can tap into bonus depreciation, so you're writing it all off in one year. Now that's huge for real estate investors. But here is the strategy, and it's the miss that so many people run into when they're utilizing this type of planning with their investing. You see, the cost segregation comes in after all of this value has been added in. The reality is what you should be doing is doing the cost segregation before you do this. Now, here's why. So let's say that the, what we're going to do is we're replacing all these items. You come in, you do a cost segregation, you look at the value of all of these items, and you say, okay, the roof, uh, it's got a remaining useful life value of $12,000. The kitchen has a remaining useful life of $6,000. Landscaping, $6,000. The HVAC, $4,000. So you add all that, that up right there, and you come up with $28,000. Well, guess what? You're going to remove it. You're getting rid of it. So by doing the cost segregation to determine out the value of this on the front end, you can then, when you pull it out, you can deduct this under what's called a partial asset dis um distribution on that so you can take it out under a pad disposition of this asset of $28,000 which means that is a tax deduction for you. You can write off $28,000 in value of what you're throwing away. People throw away tax deductions all the time with their real estate because they're unaware of this strategy. Now, Again, the numbers have to make sense, right, uh, to do this. But now, here's where you're going to double this up. And that's why I call it a hidden tax strategy. Because you're going to get $28,000 on your partial asset di uh, disposition, the pad. And then you're going to come in, you're going to do all this work, fix all this stuff here in your house. And after you've done that, you're going to come in and you're going to do cost seg number two. And come back in and write off this 80 k uh, as well on your return because it's going to be, it has a new use life, brand new stuff. We just put it on. We know what the value is. It's remaining life, but we're able to do a cost seg, bonus it out in this year. And so now I'm picking up that 80K, which normally you would anyways, plus you're getting that 28K of the stuff you, you took out of your property. So you just 
picked up on this one, probably about a $10,000 tax savings by utilizing a, a pad before you started ripping stuff out. This is the secret that so many real estate investors miss when they acquire property that they intend to rehab. Before you do it, run a cost seg on it, figure out what you're gonna be ripping out. If it makes sense, go through with it, pick up that deduction, come back and do it again. Same year, pick up another huge tax deduction, take that money to the bank, put it in your account, and go out and buy another piece of property. Guys, you liked the video, hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more phenomenal information like this that's coming your way in the next few weeks. Take care. Thank you.